Hey everybody, I'm back with uh, my third pro um, provisional ranks game. Alright, so I gotta figure out uh, what's going on here. So we got something called Top Support and Jungle, which is Dark Star, Captain, and Greek. So I'll ask Relay, Mid, or ADC. So um, yeah, I'll explain a little bit about myself here as we go, but I always basically just make sure everyone gets along and uh, just kind of like and let people take whatever position they're they're comfortable with. Um, so I never try to call something out. I never say, "Hey, pick order, suck it." Um, I basically just um, yeah, I just try to, I try to. Make sure everyone has a role they're comfortable with, and, and then I just learn all the roles. Um, that's what I figure anyway. Uh, if they don't respond, like this guy's currently not responding, um, I'll just take something because I think some people just don't talk and they expect you to. Uh, they expect you to just do pick order, and if that that's fine. Um, they just taught me to pick. Um, I'll do ADC since that's what I did last time. Um, hopefully I can build up some experience with it like this. So, um, yeah, so anyway, uh, some people asked me to record the pick and ban um, phases so they can see this. It's a little bit stressful for me trying to figure out talking to everyone so I'm not speaking as well um, uh, as, as much as I usually, usually do. But um, uh, hopefully it'll, you'll get a little bit out of it anyway. Um, so, uh, anyway, here we are. Um, so I'm playing ADC. A lot of times if I'm given the choice, I like to pick the thing that I feel will give me the most uh, control. Something. So I'm going to go ADC just because um, I, I have a little more experience there with that than mid. Um, in my experience, top and mid get called out the most. Then followed by ADC and then support and jungler. I think as I go up a little higher, I think jungle gets called out a little bit more. I think people just don't like the, the bottom lane because you're sort of reliant on a person you can't communicate with. And um, it gets a little awkward. So, um, but I'm going with ADC because I feel like that gives me a better chance to carry the game and have a bigger impact. Turn this volume down and get in that double. Um, but yeah, so um, that's how I do the pick and ban phase. I you know, right now I'm second. Uh, I think it's pretty it's common practice that you can kind of pick from top down. Um, you know, if you say hey pick order, a lot of people aren't going to argue with you because they can't because if you pick the thing and they pick the same thing, same role, then they're the bad guy because they could have fixed the problem. Uh, but I don't do that, so I just kind of you know I let everyone figure out what they want to do, and you know we. Uh, and you know that way everyone's kind of happy with their role because I don't again I don't really care which I, what I play. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. So my first uh, match was a little stressful. Um, I was really nervous. Uh, again, I played Tristana. Uh, but I think it was just just uh, the fact that I was doing one of these um, placement matches. Uh, but the second one was much better. I was in the jungle. I was constantly under assault, so that helped me a little bit. I'm much more um, comfortable with jungle actually. I think. Um, so a couple mistakes I made in that one was being super aggressive when I shouldn't have been. Uh, I was talking to people on the forums and I noted that when I play junglers, a lot of the times I will play um, initiator type junglers, uh, Zach or Jarvan. You'll, you'll see me play Jarvan in the last game. And so it's sort of my instinct in the fight to like jump in. Um, and you know, Tristana unfortunately has something that allows you to jump in. <laughs> um, you can use it for, uh, you should, you can and should use it for escape. Uh, but I, you know, a couple times I use it to jump in. It's not always bad because it resets if you kill someone. So if you can jump in and get a buster shot off and then and kill them and then jump back, you're okay. But it's very risky. Um, and I was just, I was, I go, I went in and died, and then my team won a fight anyway. Uh, but I could have helped them if I had just uh, stayed back and done my ADC thing. I mean, Tristana, one of her advantages is that she has super long range when she gets higher level, so I don't know why I wasn't doing it, but um, 
yeah, so that's what's that going on. Hope you guys um, like the champion selection here. I'm gonna have to do a cut here. I won't like make you sit the loading screen. I'll just I'll stop and record a second time for that. Um, but that's about uh, it's about that time. So I will see you guys on the flip side. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so uh, yeah, this is my third placement game. So um, again, I just turned 30 a couple days ago. Level 30, that is, not age 30. Uh, um, and I wanted to start ranked just so I could have some, um, I could feel like my matches were, you know, had a little purpose. Um, but I'm a little wor I was a little worried about the, the crowds that were, were in, in ranked, honestly. Uh, if people are taking it way too seriously, then it might be become less fun. So, um, and also, you know, I was you know a little unsure about the placement matches. So, um, there's one person on the forums and on YouTube, Aaron M. I'll put him in the, the notes since he was the partial inspiration for this. Um, but what he was doing was um, he was placing all, uh, recording all his placement matches, so that people could see what placement matches were like. For people who you know haven't done it yet before, or um, or just curious, or wanted to see someone someone's placement matches, so um, he had to stop a couple episode or a couple games in just because he uh, I think his, his video software was having some issues, but I really liked it, um, and so I figured when I got to that same point, I would do the same thing, and so here I am. This is my third placement match uh, of ten. Uh, it's interesting. Only really interesting to see how the rest goes. I've won my first two, which is exciting. Um, I had some really, really great teammates, and I really haven't found I found everyone to be really, um, really pleasant. I think a lot of the people I'm playing with are also newer, so that might uh, contribute to it. Like, it looks like in this game, we only have one person who's placed at all, and he's um, he's only played 16 matches. Anyway, I'm looking at the lol nexus just to get an idea what I'm facing here but anyway uh, people have been not been too serious uh, was, I know my first game when we actually we were um, we had a big come from behind oh, come from behind might be the wrong word just, but we were we were behind in kills um, but we kept taking objectives really well so um, I think some of them got a little upset that they, that they lost what they felt like they should not have lost. Um, but I'm always working on things. Everybody should be working on. You gotta be working on something. You're not. You're not. You're, no one's that good, right? Even the pros are working on something. So I'm working on my locked camera. You can see I'm, I'm futzing with it a lot here. Uh, I'm still getting used to it, but you almost have to do it on the purple side. It's just it's just terrible if you don't. Um, uh, trying to see. I'm also working on last hitting a lot because, as I said in the intro portion, I I usually just take whatever's kind of left over. Um, in terms of in terms of positions, and so that uh, honestly that's left me with playing a lot of a lot of support and jungler. So, and, and those are the two positions where you don't last hit, really. Um, so, I end up, I, I think I fell behind quite a bit on last hitting in terms of skill of it. Um, so, I'm, I'm working constantly to improve that, because that's in any of the lanes... That's really what's going to what's going to win you the game is is doing well in those lanes. So I re I just really just need to improve it. Um, uh, yeah, and then um, I'll also say that in general I suffer from being too aggressive. Um, I mean, I'm sure it hurts me sometimes when I'm, when I'm backing off and not being as aggressive as I should be. But like I said, I'll, I, had, I had some problems in my first placement match where I was jumping in when I definitely should not have been. Um, again, I'm just working on making sure I get 
my farm here so that I can actually have items. <laughs> um, so if you're a very new player, then some people don't know this, and this is one of the things that I always thought was really, would be really useful to to know as a as a very new player is that experience is gained by being near the minions when they die. Gold is gained by doing the last hit. So if you hear people you know, talking about last hitting, which they will talk about all the time, oh, Sorak is going back without me. Um, they, they talk about it all the time because it's very important. Um, that means getting the last hits on minions to get the gold from them. Um, so the reason supports can actually gain levels without hitting any of the, the minions is that you only need to like I said, you only need to be near them. So what happens, the reason support characters are chosen the way they are is they're usually characters that can be effective without any items. So you can funnel all the gold into your attack damage carry. In this case, me. Um, and so Soraka has some global heals and stuff. She's, she's she's really not my favorite support, honestly, to play or to lane with. But like Sona in the other lane here, she's got Crescendo, which is an area of effect stun, which is crazy good. Um, so she can, in the late game, even if she had no items and that was the only skill she had, she would still be used, super useful in a fight. I'm, I'm, I'm staying pretty passive here. Um, get some damage in on there. I don't know where either of our junglers are. I think our jungler should be coming down here just because they're pushed up so far. Let me ping him out and see. Like, I, 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 I'm playing jungler, and you can't. You know, he's on the other end of the, the map, but. They're pushing up so far that it would be a good idea at some point. And again, I'm kind of dancing around here because I'd rather get last hits than push this lane. Um, not that I'm doing super well at, at last hits, but it's good to know just for, for reference. Also, I love Arcade Sona. She's like one of my favorite skins. Tristana is weird too because you have to be very careful. You don't accidentally push your lane in too far because her E, which is what I usually max first, just because does a lot, of, does a lot of useful things. It will when when you kill a minion, it explodes and does damage to everyone else. Um, so. Even if you're not trying to, she will push a lane by herself. Alright, great. Let's play some wards. Awesome. I was going to ask him to place a pink ward there. Or not a pink ward necessarily. So now I'm pretty low, but I, uh, I, was, I tried to actually get her with my alt there and the, as the last shot just to, to get a kill off. But she disappeared into the fog of war in the bush there, and so I um, I wasn't able to target her. If only it was a skill shot, right? I do tend to like characters with skill shots just because they're fun to if only because they're fun to play. I really haven't gone back to buy yet. I should. Maybe we can push this lane out once. And go back. Diana's way up there. So we are going to get us the BF Sword. Could use boots at some point, but if I have enough for a BF Sword, I should buy one. <laughs> uh, hopefully they don't get too much uh, push on this turret. And I'll clear this wave. Draven's not super great at um, clearing waves, honestly, so I'm not the most worried. I mean, it's that attack speed buff, which is pretty good, but... He doesn't have anything that innately helps him with that. And he does a lot of 
They can do a lot of damage. Oh, that's the other thing. I gotta remember Draven's new passive. Um, before it used to do basically like bleed damage. Um, and so, but now it it basically he gets extra gold from kills, like a ton of extra gold, or he will get a ton of extra gold. So giving up that kill to him will be much worse. All right, wonderful ward there. Oh, Vola Bear. Go away. I don't really want to bait it. Can't go away, Vola Bear. All right, so she's doing really well with awards. Does Draven have got nothing? He hasn't gone back at all. He must have some money. Oh, oh I messed that up. I always do that when I'm trying to push down a big minion like that. I, I just keep attacking him no matter what, and I don't really take much into account about exactly like, well if I wait for a second then I should oh, I forgot she had her ult everything's down I can't jump in I guess I can attack Sona no, we pushed him off at the very least I'm pretty sure they're going to go back, so hopefully we can push this tower down. No, I'll pull over. Get out of here. So anyway, um, I'm glad he rewarded that, because it could have been bad. Unfortunately, we didn't get any damage on the tower here. Eh, he's doing a little damage to me. I can just let him do it. So now we're going to push the ward in that line. Push the bots too far. I don't know if I can hold this 3v1, but I can push the lane back. If they, they dive, I might be in trouble. I think they probably could have dived me there, honestly. But, so I have enough for the Vampiric Scepter now, but, um, don't know that I want to go back. I'd rather, if I can wait for the blood there, so that'd be ideal. Oh, I messed that up. One more attack and I could have killed him, probably. Again, uh, I like to take uh, take blame when I make mistakes. That way people are less likely to um, rage on you if you're, if, you're, if you're fully admitting it. It's not like you're trying to hide behind anything. I'm also trying to constantly check my uh, my mini map. I, th I think of it like uh, checking a rearview mirror, mirror in a car. You're supposed to do it every three seconds, right? Um, so you know, we got this kills. We got the tower. We might be able to get this dragon. They, I mean, we're, we're, it's a little risky just because they're back now, but there's no reason not to try it. We know that they don't have it warded. Um, I don't see Draven. We'll be able to see Draven coming up if he does. Uh, I know he's running down. Yeah, we should be fine here to take this. Uh, oh, there's Sona. Sona sees us. Time to go back now. I think I can get my Bloodthirster. Yeah, I can. It's 
It's nice to see that we took the dragon. But again, um, so one thing I've been trying to learn is turning kills into objectives. And so uh, one thing I one thing I don't know one thing I learned it necessarily, but one thing that, be, that was became very clear in my first game was what are they doing? Are they waiting for it to respawn? I don't know. One that became very clear in my first game is that you know kills don't mean um, kills don't mean wins. Um, so we were down like a lot, like 14 to 34 or something crazy. Jump. So this tower is very dangerous, honestly, because I can't really run away very well. And it couldn't enough damage. That was my fault. I knew they were there. I even pinged that they were there, and still I went down that lane. Um, that was totally my bad. Um, I shouldn't have done it. It was a mistake. They might be able to take this turret. They're probably going to take this turret now. I don't think Soraka can defend it herself. That was my bad. Uh, but we took the dragon, so we should be a little ahead on gold. How are we doing farming wise? I have. Where am I at? 85 minions. He has 73, so I'm actually. Head to Draven at the very least. Tell him I'm on my way. At least now that if I have Soraka, I can, you know, there'll be two of us, and that, that always helps. She can heal. Uh, but yeah, going down there was just a mistake on my part. If I, uh, if you know where they're at, don't be there. <laughs> at least not by yourself. Soraka have uh, she she's, she actually hasn't she got the she has the health crystal that will build into the spirit stone, but that's about it. I think she's been spending money on pink wards, which is not always bad, but let's push this thing down. So I need to stack up my bloodthirster a little bit. And again, we're, we're kind of flying blind a little bit here. And Soraka doesn't have many more wards for us to So honestly, with Soraka going back, I'm a little afraid. Like, none of them are on my map right now. There's Morgana. Um, I'm gonna stay where it's kind of warded. I just, yeah, I don't. I mean, I don't want to get caught out again for sure. Uh, jungle's, jungle's a little safer, so I'm gonna go. All I can get is these wolves, but might as well. I'll tell them I'm on my way mid. Um, yeah, that, that lane's actually pushing really far, and they're all mid, enemies all mid anyway, so it's a good place to be. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, I actually meant to use my E there, and I hit my W instead. Uh, yeah, I kept saying I should not jump in this game, and that's just what I did. Um... So I gotta be careful. And we're, uh, yeah, we're. This is a very. Everyone's playing a very cautious game, which is interesting. I feel like I don't see that very often. Um, you know what? I'm gonna grab a couple wards just to be able to play some to make myself feel a little safer. I know I'm supposed to funnel all my money into being a carry, but. Assist up here. Again, once our, our we got our lanes tower down, I and mean, they took they took the same one. They take the, took the tower as well, but um, so again, Tristan is very good pusher in terms of pushing lanes. So I can use that to my advantage. But at the same time, she she's got an escape. But you know, I got if you get two v one, it's a problem. Oh. 
I'm just gonna, they seem to be pushing hard there. I'm just gonna take this tower actually, hopefully I can. So we're kind of reacting to them, which maybe is bad, but I feel like I can take this down. How are they doing? They're fighting on a tower, which is good. Let's get out of here. I feel like my computer's lagging a little bit. Oh, we don't. Oh, we got lots of dead. Whew. I might be able to escape this. <laughs> but I need to get that tower. Oh, nope, nope. I said might. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know if pushing that tower was worth it. They didn't quite get ours. Oh, they're going to get it. Definitely going to get it. They got a lot more kills. Um, towers are actually even now. Um, they're up on kills, but it's not really insurmountable. Um, uh, I was thinking, I'm trying to think if I had placed those wards, would it really have helped me? But no, he came straight up lane. I could have, I basically could have escaped at that point. Um, I do have the, the boots now. I'm I should probably invest in um, the speedier, the, the alacrity enchantment. But again, let's make sure we don't lose any more towers here. I feel pretty slow. <laughs> So Tristan is pretty good at clearing waves, pretty good at taking down towers with uh, her increased attack speed, so she's actually a pretty good split pusher. Um, I'm going to put down a ward here, so I can see if they come from that way. there. I'm just not going to even risk it. I'm just going to... Oh. If they want to send that many people at me. I don't know if I could have... couldn't really have distracted them for much long, for long, but... I'm not sure if we can spring a trap here. Very bad at springing traps. Diana's gonna come with me, she can be my bodyguard. Ooh. She got me. But yeah, again. I don't think we can really take advantage they all came down, but we weren't we didn't really have anyone in a position to take advantage of it. And they're probably going to get the dragon. Part of the advantage of split pushing is being able to take advantage of it after the fact. Um, and we weren't really able to do that. It's 
So we're keeping our, our lanes pushed, actually, and we haven't lost any more towers. Um, but we have that middle tower down, which is kind of a pain. We haven't even gotten there. Outer mid. Uh, we are down on kills, and we're kind of... It's kind of getting worse, unfortunately. Nidalee Spears hurt. Actually won that team fight, I think. Not flesh. I don't know what was going on there. I keep trying to fly. I don't know if I was getting stunned or silenced or something. There's a lot of stun over there, but well, it, it's likely. Um, I was trying though. Ooh, we lost that one as well. We kind of won one. We kind of lost one. We are fall. Our, like I said, we haven't lost any more objectives. We haven't gained any either. Uh, although our bottom lane here is pushing, actually. But, like I said, if we lose one big team fight, they could push in on our inhibitors. It's a little, you know, slightly precarious position. Turret here. Don't go out too far, Diana. I think they're gonna try to backdoor us here, but I'm, not, I'm really not sure what their their plan is. I really don't want to dive in there if I can help it. Let's get in range. I might click my 
computer's lagging a little bit here. I'm not sure if that's actually the case. Between me and Diana, we seem to be pushing these waves pretty well. probably heal myself up by attacking something, but I don't want to risk going out of vision. And we lost two, and they lost none. Home guards at this point, I guess. Yeah, we're just not winning these fights at all. I'm not really sure where this is going to end up, either. Again, we have to just want to basically protect our objectives at this point. Waves are pushing theirs better for some reason. Than, better than theirs for some reason. I don't know why, but probably just Diana and I have are really wave clearing well. Trying to go help people. I'm not gonna walk through the river because that seems dangerous. Let's walk around. And my bloodthirst are all stacked up. Yeah. Trying to stack up the gold so I can get my infinity edge or whatever else. If they're just wasting time dancing around the lanes, and we're collecting gold, then we'll be in a better place, hopefully. Again, I don't want to engage any on any of this. Really, has got great poke potential, so I don't want to, you know. It's not a bad way to start out. I don't know why Soraka's auto attacking. Right under the turret. Right under the turret. Ah. Yeah, I, I should have fallen back there. There's no reason. Um, yeah, I think this game is. I think we're in trouble. Uh, death timer is getting too high. We keep losing team fights. I think it's done. But um, I was I was relatively happy with how I did in the laning phase. I didn't get any kills, but I also I think we kept our lane pushed up. And I um, when I checked, I was farming better than Draven. I don't know what it is now. It kind of becomes irrelevant. Sort of a little bit late game. It doesn't mean the same thing. Um, but I thought I did well there. Um, again, I think. Tristana I have a little bit of problem with in team fights. Um, I think I just wasn't playing her uh, to the best of her abilities. But um, I didn't feel like I did too terribly. You know, I was bound obviously bound to lose some games, right? I'm not gonna win all of my uh, all my placement games. But um, uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm happy so far. I mean like, I'm not gonna surrender. I just just don't surrender. You know, there's no reason to. Um, you can always pull out something. You never know when the other team's going to make a big mistake. So they seem to be all going back for some reason. So I'm going to we'll push this lane out as far as I can. Diana seems to be pushing the other lane. 
So, um, again, who knows? Maybe if we can get some more items, we can. We can, we can take over in the late game. I don't think it's super likely. Um, she's done a pretty good late game. And her, her, her crazy attack speed buff uh, helps her out. Um, but she's not the greatest. Um, and Owen's, I mean, I don't, I, I don't know a huge amount about team game comp, team comps. I think Ard might be better, but I couldn't say for certain. Um, I don't think they're going to let me push this thing all the way to the tower, but we'll see. Yeah, I'd rather not die here, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do something that'll help the team out. And I'm at least getting farm this way, as opposed to dancing around in the dancing around close to base. Let's see if we can get the turret. Got the turret at least. I uh, don't know if it was worth my death with a 53 second death timer. But it's something. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not you know, I'm not always sure what to do. I, 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 I don't have a ton of experience late game, so I'm never sure what the best course of action is. Worth it, but like, then we, we pushed something out. Now that lane's pushed, they might have to help it out. Hmm, mm. I might be going for Baron. <coughs> that is possible. <coughs> Excuse me. Ribbon's pushing my lane back out that I just pushed. I guess they weren't going for Baron. I don't, I don't know what they were doing. Uh, so I got the Infinity Edge now, which will be helpful. Um, the sheer number of attacks Tristana does, it's... Uh, nope. Done. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little lag here. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but uh, I'll... I'll like click and do something, and then it will kind of stutter for a little while. It's not really affecting my game, and I'm not. I don't want to sound like I'm blaming it on that, but uh, it's definitely noticed. I'm just confused about like I didn't die for a second there. And I'm like, I must be dead. I can't be life stealing back that much. And yeah, I don't know what was exactly what was going on. But yeah, this this looks like it's about that time. Um. But uh, yeah, they played they played really well. Um. I have to learn a lot more about late game. Like I said, I think I'm I'm getting better at the laning phase. I thought I last hit it better. I, obviously, there were a bunch of times there where I uh, made mistakes and could have done it a little better. But um, it's better than I have been doing for sure. Uh, with my little, very little experience, with, you know, laning and ADCing. Um, I don't think we can actually clear them out, but we can do something here. All the minions cleared out. Not much of a victory, but it's probably just delaying the inevitable. So this is sort of a problem. I'm actually going to go bottom here. I guess we might as well go see if we can we can steal it from them. Uh, yeah, I think we're a little far behind for it to, to do, make much of a difference, but it's always worth a shot. Getting the getting their <laughs> getting their support wasn't really worth it, but. That was sort of a last stand. Um, again, it was, that was a little silly. It wasn't actually going to help us or win the game, so there wasn't a lot of point in doing that, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, no, like I said, I'm, I, I honestly just don't know what I could have been doing to 
help it there. I mean, I guess I could have pushed aside the, the bottom lane and maybe I could have gotten it all the way around to a point where I could have... Um, I could have threatened them or pulled them away or something. I'm not sure. I guess that would be the best scenario at that point. But uh, they played a good game. Uh, if you guys have any questions for me, let me know, whether it's about the game in general, draft pick, starting ranked. Uh, if you have any suggestions for me, please let me know. I'm always looking for improvement. And I'll see you guys next time.